Hi everybody, we are Alp and Altu Gallup Brothers, as known as Gallup Bros. We are traveling around the world to create visual contents. On this episode, we will share some tips to visit best places around the Jungfrau region and the canton of Bern in Switzerland in 7 days. We started the day early morning at the Glacier Canyon in Grindelwald. The canyon swing is one of the terrified activity in the area. The entrance fee to walk inside the canyon is 19 Swiss francs per person. There is a 170 square meter spider web on the river that you can have funny boomerang shots. The Grindelwald First area is full of fun attractions for families and fantastic views of the Jungfrau region. There are flyer, glider, mountain cart, Trotty bike scooter, mountain bike to Bahalzi, cliff walk, and more. Grindelwald surrounded with an amazing mountains. There are many small cottages at the mountains that they use as a diary. Yodeling is a form of singing that involves rapid changes in pitch. It has traditionally been used by Swiss herders to communicate in the mountains but later became popular with musicians as a form of entertainment. Kleine Scheidegg is the first stop on the way from Grindelwald to go to the top of the Europe. Ticket cost is around round trip 150 Swiss francs. Train stops at the Eismer station and people can take photos at the window with an amazing picturesque snowy mountain views. At the top there are Alpine Sensation, Ice Palace, Sphinx Observation Deck, Snow Fun Park, chocolate shop, cafe and restaurants to have a great time. On the way to Beck, it's possible to visit Lauterbrunnen village. Lauterbrunnen is located in a valley which is surrounded with rocky cliffs and there is amazing waterfall flowing into the village. Interlaken is a Swiss town which is situated between Thun and Brienz lakes. There are two major train stations in Interlaken that you will often use during the vacation. Also the landing area of the paragliders located in the town center. There are mini shops, cafes, restaurants and hotels around the town. The Harder Kulm is a viewpoint at 1321 meters overlooking the towns of Interlaken and Untersee. It takes 10 minutes to climb to the top with a modern funicular. There are cliff walk platform and also great restaurant which offer local and international foods with a local live music. Lake Brienz should be on your bucket list to visit lakeside villages with a boat tour. There are options to use private or public sea transportation. During the journey there are many lakeside houses and the villages. Iseltwald is one of the most popular lakeside village. Iseltwald castle is iconic landmark of both village and the lake. Village has small harbor. There are some hostels and hotels. It's possible to see many backpackers around. Gisbach is another top destination in Lake Brienz. It's possible to climb to the top with a funicular in 6 or 7 minutes from the dock. There is a big hotel with an amazing lake view. Also they serve delicious foods at the restaurants during the day. Gisbach waterfall has a spectacular view. You can have a nature walk to climb to the top and take shots inside the cave which is behind the waterfall. Lungern is the only destination which is not in Bern Canton. 
but it has amazing picturesque lake views from the hills. In Interlaken there are some chocolate shops which also has a chocolate workshop. What do you know about chocolate? It's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. and there is usually for If you want to experience chocolate production, it should be on your bucket list. Steinige Platte is a small mountain ridge and a viewpoint. Train journey will start from Windersville and during the journey you can have an amazing views of the mountains. At the top there is a small hotel with restaurant which has an amazing sunset. Adelboden is a Swiss Alpine village in the Bern Canton. The Cambrian Adelboden Hotel which has hot water outdoor pool with picturesque view of the snowy mountains is located there. Blause is one of the most visited lake by tourists with its magnificent views and reflections. And also there are some services like boat tour, cafe and restaurant. It takes 35 minutes from Adelboden by bus. Oschinensi is one of the best lake I have ever seen in my life. It is located in Kanderstek and 20 minutes away from Blausie. Oshinensi cable car station is 1 km away from the village. Swiss pass is not allowed at the cable car, but your hotel might have given you a ski pass to use it as a free. When you arrive to the top, there is a trail to reach to the lake. It takes 20-25 minutes. St. Beatus Cave is located on the way between Thun and Interlaken, around Thunersi. There are well-decorated landscaping, waterfall, museum and one kilometer long cave. Legend has it that St. Beatus, the first apostle of the Switzerland, fought a dragon in the caves. Oberhofen is another lakeside village with its picturesque lake views, historical church and extremely delicious restaurant. Thun is the biggest town around the Lake Thunersee. Thun Castle, also known as Schloss Thun, has amazing panoramic view of the city. Also, there is a museum in the castle. Ara River divided the city as two parts and there are magnificent views, cafes and restaurants around the river. Bern is the capital city of the country. Beer is the symbol of the city. Barengraben or beer pit is a natural park with its green hilly terrain which includes caves and the beer bath 
is located around the Ara River. Bern has spectacular views of river and old structures at the same time. Oh, Lord,